Today we have very interesting theme. We offer you another decoupage experiment. We will imitate on various surfaces a metal lace and will decorate in this technique clock on the grounded canvas and a wooden board. We hope that our advices and recommendations will be useful to you and you certainly will use them. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have very interesting theme, which I would name the imitation of a metal lace. It sounds mysteriously, but actually at the heart of all products which we will decorate today lies the decoupage technique. But using one of decoration methods, the drawing of structural paste and its toning, we will give them the new sound and will make more interesting. I tell the truth that the decoupage itself, if it looks as simple gluing of paper pictures on any subjects, becomes not so popular. Perhaps only the lazy didn't try to be engaged in it, and today it's possible to surprise already very few people with such works. Therefore, I recommend to you strongly to improve constantly, learn to draft and try new materials. For example, such as various structural and modeling pastes. For example, take one black modeling gel paste, antique varnish, in other words a bitumen patina and metal wax of green and copper color. Using such small amount of materials, you with easy can make your product unusually interesting and original. It's not always, to make something unique you need the big arsenal of aids. Look at the product which I offer you to decorate today. For example, this big clock with a cock is not very hard to make, and it's not necessary to make long over this board. Here, the main thing is the idea and execution. I think that you will create something authors, using my operating time and recommendations. And to copy somebody else's works, I don't know, probably it's interesting, but I don't advise to you to be engaged in it often. After all, copying someone, you as a creator, stand still. And also, I add that for today's work we will need to prepare lace stencils. Instead of them, I buy the silicone napkins, they are convenient, it's easy to wash them, and they are strong enough, that is a significant plus if you are going to put on them any structural paste or gel. I recommend to you too such a reusable material. We worked not so long ago with this silicone lace. We only put on it roof volume structural paste and didn't paint it. Today's work is more dainty and interesting. The lacy decor is smaller and we tone it. More truly, we imitate using the accessible means a metal lace. So, let's begin the decoration of such clock. For work we need to prepare round preparation. In the given variant, it's the grounded canvas on a cardboard, a decoupage card with a dial, a silicone lacy napkin, acrylic paint of English red color, antique varnish bituminous, modeling paste of black color and wax of copper and green colors. As the canvas is already grounded, we can begin the work at once. To begin with, we need to cut out from decoupage card a dial and on it to make a protective stencil of a cardboard. We put this circle to preparation and circle by a pencil. All surface around this line will be decorated by lace. 
But at first, we need to paint it using acrylic paint of English red color and to dry well. Further, we take our protective cardboard circle, fix it to preparation by a sticky tape, and on sticky tape to it, we put a silicon lacy napkin that it won't move during the walk. The most interesting operation begins right now. We should apply using a rubber spatel an even layer of black modeling paste on the lace. Try not to hurry up and, at all, don't press on spatel not to pull and to move casually silicone. Otherwise, all work will be spoiled. I notice that to work with this modeling paste is a pleasure. It easily fills all hollows and holes, and even the thinnest open work will give us a quite good volume decor. After you put this paste on all necessary surface, can safely remove the silicon lace, but do it accurately, rising on the one side, then you get a beautiful print on the surface. This open work should be dried well before to work with it further. The total time of drying of this paste is 12 hours, but you can continue the work in two hours when it will set a little. Now we need to take our paper dial and to pre-soak it in water for some minutes. Then, to take out, let water through the napkin and to apply on the wrong side white glue, and then to glue on our already lacy preparation in the center. It will be not superfluous to glue the paper decor from the top and then to press good. Further, we dry all and pass to a plan of antique varnish bituminous. It's better to do it by a foam rubber piece, having protected the hands by gloves. At first, we green all lacy surface and then apply some of the patinas on the dial that it corresponds to a frame. Further, we dry well a patina and we take a small amount of copper wax and apply it on a lace, giving to it a metal shine. It's better to do by a fingertip, slightly touching a surface. And to make old the product even more, we will add green wax. In my opinion, after such procedures, the product looks wonderfully. It's possible to make some more touch-up, for example, to apply more color stains on the dial, to add using a thin brush a cock that it become more expressive, and to make by a volume counter of copper color the transition between the lace and the paper decor. I think that all of this is quite enough to tell that you are happy with the result of your work.
And now I offer to decorate here such board in like manner. We will work with the same materials, but on the wooden surface. And to imitate old metal, we will use one-step crackle. I noticed that in the given variant, we won't wait from it for appearance of crackly cracks, though at first they will be. So, we should ground our wooden surface with white acrylic ground and dry it up. Further, we cut out from decoupage card the flower and the butterfly, and we pre-soak them in water for some minutes. We take out, let water through the napkin, and to apply on the wrong side white glue, and then to glue them to the board. From the top, we smooth the paper decor with a brush, again with the same white glue. Necessarily, we dry the product and pass to a plan of one stop crackle. As I spoke, it's not necessary here to us to get cracks, therefore we apply it only around the butterfly and the flower. Dry this layer well, and we begin to apply acrylic paint of English red color. In those places where has been applied crackle varnish, we work accurately, doing red depths one next to another. The other surface we paint densely enough using a brush. Certainly, crackle varnish will give us crackle cracks, and it's that very good. But we put on them at once a silicone napkin and start to apply by rubber spatel black modeling paste. We try to apply paste as close as possible to the glue drawing. And as soon as you will coat all places necessary to you, remove the lace from preparation. Pay attention that gel paste, having taken place through the napkin, will tear off from crackly varnish big enough color for pieces. This effect is necessary to us. These are our attritions. I think that at first they will confuse you, as they will be white color, but don't worry. After all, till the end of the work is still far. Also, we need to apply antique varnish bituminous on all surface of the product by a piece of foam rubber around the glued paper decor. Then it's necessary to tone a little a decoupage that it won't look a paper using the same bitumen varnish to dry all properly and to take wax. In this variant, I think that green color should be more. I apply it first of all in those places where the paint has got off, in other words, on our simulated ball spots. I apply a little more greens on a lace and begin to tone it using wax of copper color. In this work, your taste and imagination will prompt you when to stop. But in any variant, lighter or darker, I am sure, the work will look amazingly.
It seems to me that today we have worked good and that quantity of the information that you have got will be quite enough to you to begin to study the theme on imitation of various surfaces. Today we have such wonderful clock and such board with a copper lace. We put a tick that we have tried to make one kind of metal with you. And now is the experiment. Try to play with bronze or silver or gold. I think this process will carry you away by all means. Also, I notice that it will be easy to you to work in this way if you become more attentive to details. Pay attention to bronze statues, on monuments in the streets, on fencings, on rusty buckets and locks, and you will have host of ideas and color solutions. And I've decided that we drop a metal theme for a while and pass to stone imitation. We will begin with old and we'll look further. And on it, I will wish you creative inspiration and say goodbye to you to new ideas. With you there was Natasha Fochtina. Good luck and goodbye.